Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena. You're watching our video review of the Alcatel One Touch Watch. It's available right now. You can pick it up for $150 and it's compatible with both Android and iOS devices, but it's only offered in this one color scheme, which is just black. Now it blends the functions of a smartwatch with fitness tracker, but not really a full blown smartwatch per se. So you could say it gets the best of both worlds. The design is pretty compelling. We like it. it's premium, it's solid, and it uses a round face watch style similar to the 360, but it's far more compact in size. So if you have smaller wrists, it's gonna look a lot more proportioned. And the metal body just gives it a nice aesthetics. Unfortunately, though, we don't like the, the notches around the sides for the time. It'd be nice if it were just completely clean. The wrist strap, unfortunately, is not something you could replace. Now, that's there's a reason to that. There are actually a couple reasons. First is that it features a built-in NFC in the strap, so you could quickly pair it. And at the end, at the bottom end here, you have its charger, so you don't have to bring along or carry, carry along a separate charger. It's already built in. and takes only an hour for it to charge completely. On the underside, you have the heart rate sensor to measure your pulse. And the uh, entire thing feels pretty comfortable. It's adjustable. It's also IP67 rated, so it's protected against dust and it's also water resistant. You could submerge it, which is pretty nice. The display here is a 1.22 inch 240 by 204 display. It's not the most high resolution thing. It gets the job done though when we look very close. We know some light pixelation, but you have some nice natural looking colors, some wide viewing angles. On top of that, it's more than visible outdoors. Now, similar to the Moto 360, you have that flat tire look with the display, unfortunately. That's because the bottom here is touch sensitive and what it does is it acts as a back function to go back. Now, uh, the platform itself, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, it pairs with, to your device via Bluetooth. You touch the button side to turn it on, turn it off, and you get the time the first thing you look at. If you tap there, you get to the main menu, and it blends some features of a, of a smartwatch, but not quite as in-depth. So you get things like being able to view the weather. You could also, it can also, it can also act as a shutter for your phone's camera. You control your music, you have a built-in compass, and you can even track down your phone in the event that you misplace it, you can't find it. So that's pretty cool, you have some light functionality. And you also have some notifications. So for text messages, you could read it directly through here and even some emails. So though you only get the subject and from who it is. Uh, so it's just nice you have that on board. As a fitness tracker, it, it covers the usual stuff. So it'll track your steps, how many steps you've taken in turn, how many calories you burn, distance you traveled, and how, how, uh, and how frequently you're active. It also acts as a sleep tracker too, but unfortunately it's not automatic. It's a manual process. So that's kind of a bummer because it's been nice to have it automatic. The application you could download for your smartphone is allows you to view the information a little bit more detail, but unfortunately, it's not quite as in-depth compared to some other applications like Fitbit, the Fitbit app. You'll just get the usual stuff, but it doesn't present the data in a meaningful way. You don't have a chart to see all the days, all the results from the different days. You just gotta keep on clicking each and every one, which is kind of pain. There's a timeline view. You have also the ability to modify the wallpaper so there's some light customization. But the unfortunate thing is that there really is an ecosystem to this. You can't download any apps or enhance its functionality. It's a standalone platform in itself. So you have the features of a, of a fitness tracker here with some light functions of a smartwatch, which is nice. And $450, it's not bad looking either. It's just, we just wish that there was just a little bit more functionality, maybe down the road, but who knows. So if you're looking for a, a pretty decent finish tracker with some light, you know, smartwatch functions, you won't be too, you won't, you, you'll probably be pleased by the Alcatel One Touch watch. So if you guys want to learn more about this, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. John V, thanks for watching.